Hey guys, <laughs> this is your reading for the month of September. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> and I give this a few more shuffles. Aries, what's going on? Aries for the month of September. Aries. Please show me messages for Aries. Okay. I'm not taking all of these, but we have the Emperor. We have the King of Wands. We have Death. And we have the Five of Pentacles here. I feel like this is you and someone else. Um, I feel like somebody actually has probably been humbled. Another fire sign like yourself. Um, more than likely Aries, Leo if it's a fire sign. But it could definitely be any sign here. But I feel like this person has has been humbled. There's something that has gone on in their life where they were kind of brought to their knees and a change has occurred or is ensuing currently with this person. Okay. This is somebody I feel like maybe you guys have had a history with already. <clears throat> but they're coming right towards you. Let's see. What's going on with Aries? The Eight of Swords here could definitely be somebody, again, from your past, somebody that you have history with. Um, this is Gemini energy uh, present here. But this is, this is you guys feeling like thinking about things that have definitely happened in the past and really kind of zoning in on um, the mistakes, the bad behavior, the toxic behavior even, and just really kind of thinking about, you know, is this a good situation to be in, I feel, with this Eight of Swords energy. Just crossing Aries. The tower. Hmm. I feel like, as we saw the, um, I don't know if I called out the cards to you guys when they jumped out, but <clears throat> death was there. And now we have the tower. Okay, that's crossing you. So there was definitely something that happened between the two of you where things ended, but I feel like this person has made an appearance in your life. And this is like really kind of throwing you for a loop a little bit. Their behavior is throwing you off. It's kind of shocking to you, I feel. And you really don't know whether this person is genuine. I, I, I'm, this is what I'm getting. It's like, you know, have they really changed their ways? Are they for real? It could definitely be a Scorpio. Um, energy here. Taurus, I saw with the cards jumping out there initially. What's the underlying issue here for Aries? The Queen of Swords. You're really trying to get your, like, your, figure this out. You're trying to get your head together. You're trying to get to the truth, get to the bottom of things here. And I kind of feel like, you know, you guys are overly cautious you know it's like you're trying to you don't really believe this person is is what I'm gathering from this you're really like are they for real or are they trying to play me you know that sort of situation and you're not hindering things but they're not moving along as fast as they could be because you are so very cautious and that's not a bad thing take it however um slowly that you need to to be sure in the recent past for aries the ten of wands i feel you guys giving in I feel you letting down all of the, not all of the burden, but you're wanting to. You're, you're really trying to drop your guard. You're really ready to put this to bed. You know, get some sort of, um, what do you call it? Some sort of resolve here. 
and really kind of, you know, not really talking to yourself out loud, but talking to yourself and saying, okay, where they're showing me this and they've been pretty consistent thus far, maybe we can start over. Maybe we can, but you're very cautious here. I see that. Because this person put you through some shit, I feel. And you were basically like carrying this relationship or carrying this situation all by yourself for a long time. Now this person is coming in to relieve you of this weight that you've been carrying. Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> Creating thoughts for Aries. The Emperor. <laughs> the Emperor is you all freaking day long. You're thinking to yourself, I cannot just give all of me to this person. They need to show me what it is that they're willing to do. I'm not making any sudden moves. I'm not showing my hand. I'm not being overly emotional, wearing my heart on my freaking sleeve. And you're standing your ground. It's like if they want me, they'll do more. They'll, they'll show more. They'll say more. It's what's on your brain right now. What's coming in for Aries? Oh gosh, okay, lots of cards flipping over. And here we go with the Knight of Wands. The let me put these down. The Knight of Wands again, that fire energy. Sun, Leo, Two of Swords, Libra, Six of Wands, Leo, Seven of Wands, Leo, um, and Seven of Swords, Aquarius. There was somebody that did you wrong that's coming back that's willing to fight for this connection with you guys. They are at a halt because I feel that your guard is up and they're really not that sure if if they can be happy, if they can achieve um, what they want with you is the thing. Sometimes they feel like they can, sometimes they feel like they don't. They can't here. And that is why I'm going to hold these cards up briefly. But that is why I feel that this um, Knight of Wands is here because sometimes they feel confident that they can have this happiness with you, but sometimes they don't. And that Two of Swords right there is them thinking, you know, is Aries going to give me a chance? Maybe they're not. Maybe we can be happy. Maybe we can be successful because you see the Six of Wands is right here on the other side of the Two of Swords. But they're willing to fight for this with the Seven of Wands. They're willing to fight to have this, this successful love story with you guys here. Okay? But this is the thing. The Seven of Swords is really a self-serving energy. This person truly sees happiness with you. But I feel like in the past they really did some shit that... Um, it was some foul shit, just to be honest with you, okay? They did. But I feel like this person, again, with that death energy, initially, what did I do? Mixed up these cards, turn them around, flipped them around. Um, with the death energy showing up, jumping out, I feel like this person's been working on themselves. Again, they've been humbled by a situation that brought them to their knees. What's coming in for Aries? Look at that. Ten of Cups. Happiness. A happy relationship. A home situation. A family situation. Camaraderie. This is what's coming in for you. After all this hard work. After all the sacrifices that you've made. This person is definitely changing your perspective about them. Okay? Okay. Piscean energy there. How is Aries viewing this situation? The King of Wands. You're definitely interested in this person, but you're in control of yourself. You're definitely in control of yourself, I feel. Um, you have a nice balance, I feel, of feminine and masculine energy going on right now. It's like you're not really trying to jump into things um, 
even though I know you're attracted to this person, I can feel that you're attracted to this person. But you're really trying to think logically about this. But also, you are, your heart is in this. You're not really showing it, though, with that emperor energy being there. Your actions are showing it. But um, as far as like being all lovey-dovey and that kind of shit, no, I don't think you're doing that. Mm -mm. What is the influence for Aries? What's the influence for Aries? The Queen of Wands. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's here's this mate, the Queen and the King of Wands here. You guys want to feel more open. Um, you want to feel not really chased after, but chased after. You know, swooned, courted, dated. You know, you want to feel like a woman. You don't want to feel like you are the one that's got to, you know, head this relationship and, you know, make things happen on the relationship front. You want to be courted is what I'm getting here. I also, when I was pre-shuffling, saw the Empress. And the Empress embodies all of the queens, okay? She's every woman or every man. Um, for that reason but this is about starting over having growth seeing potential having that confidence that you have it going on not that you're rich not that you you know think you are necessarily you know the most gorgeous person in the world but to you your confidence is up there you may as well be the most gorgeous person in the world you may as well be the richest person in the world because you guys are happy and content as you are right now is what I'm feeling okay <clears throat> what's Aries hopes or fears Aries hopes or fears <clears throat> death hmm I feel that whatever you've been seeing in this person whatever positive changes that you've seen you guys are kind of leery that that shit's gonna change out like that like just as they've changed from um, who they used to be to a better mate a better person right now you're afraid that they're gonna flip that switch again and it's gonna end that they really haven't changed for real that the situation is gonna remain the same there's not gonna be any forward movement it's not gonna be any substantial um, changes made okay that this person is gonna come with the same bull crap down the line is what your fear is what is the overall for Aries? Overall for Aries. Look at this. Temperance. Happiness. Contentment. Getting along. Working things out. Here with that temperance energy. I feel too that, you know, you guys will definitely, um, meet this person halfway and I see you being happy going towards the end of September I see you kind of softening up a little bit from the Emperor to temperance you're softening up you're you're letting down your guard a little more because I think this person is coming with some legit shit honestly okay so we have Sagittarius Leo's very strong um, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, and Piscean energy. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you for September, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.